So here's the thing. Um, we're talking about the poverty line, and we've talked about the poverty line a long time ago. The poverty line was designed assuming that every family had a housewife who was a skillful cook. Yes, indeed, America, it is true. The hypothetical family cuts back its food expenditures to the point where, you know, they equal the cost of the economic food plan or a low cost food plan for a family of that size. The family that would have to reach this point at which the food expenditures were minimal by adequacy that the housewife will be a careful shopper, a skillful cook, and a good manager who will prepare all the family's meals at home. Too bad, so sad, that's not the reality for millions of Americans who live below the poverty line. Because a lot of Americans live below the poverty line, the women are working. You see what I'm saying? Like, the women are actually working. They go to work every day because the women need to work in order for the family to survive. Right? The ideal of a full-time housewife slaving over the stove um, is just not true anymore. Because many of these women are going to work and they are working to maintain the food, to maintain, to put, to even be able to go to the grocery store to buy food for their families, which is disparity in how we calculate these numbers, right? And I, and I really think, listen, and this data, this like poverty line data leads to who gets benefits, who doesn't get benefits. And I just thought, I mean, think about it for a second, and let's have a real conversation about this America. In a good chunk, in lots of parts of the country, a family of four making $40,000 a year is living in object poverty. Because, I mean, after you take out taxes, even if you get the earned income child tax credit, right? After you take out taxes, that family probably brings some close to $30,000 a year. Divide that amongst four people, right? That's less than $8,000 a person a year to cover expenses, utilities, rent, you know, food school supplies, maintaining a car to get to and from work, pick up the kids from school, possibly public transportation fear, and before you know it, internet, things that you need for your kids to be able to study, before you know it, these families are being stretched to the limit. And we as a nation, we've done nothing about it. We've literally been silent about poverty in this country, and poverty is the silent killer here. And we could solve poverty. LBJ, when he was president, when he declared a war on poverty, almost eliminated childhood hunger. And then we met Ronald Reagan, and he just decimated those programs. No child in the wealthiest country on earth should go hungry. Not one. But the poverty rate in this country and the food insecurity amongst children is rising at an alarming rate, America, and it's time we do something about it. It really is. Sorry. We've got to do something, America. We cannot wait. We can no longer remain silent. We've got to hold our elected leaders accountable to do something to fix the poverty problem that we face here in the United States.